A devoted philanthropist and experienced in the field of commerce, Baroness Ariana de Rothschild leads the Edmund de Rothschild Foundation's activity in Israel and serves as the Philanthropic Committee's chair. She graduated in Paris with a Bachelor of Commerce and completed a Master in Business Administration at Pace University in New York. Baroness de Rothschild pursues an innovative and strategic approach to international philanthropy. She is intensely dedicated to promoting excellence, diversity, and leadership through higher education. In Israel, the Foundation works to create a more inclusive and collaborative society, fostering intercultural dialogue, especially between the Jewish and Muslim communities. The Foundation generously supports the prestigious Rothschild Scholars Program for Excellence. Every year, 20 new Technion Honor students are accepted to the program and benefit from a special interdisciplinary personalized curriculum designed to spark their sense of curiosity and creativity, enabling them to devote themselves completely to their studies. In 2014, Baroness de Rothschild established the Ariana de Rothschild Women Doctoral Program at Technion that awards scholarships for students to promote equal opportunities in academia and society in Israel. We wanted these ladies to focus on their research. This program was tailored in such a way that they are themselves engaged in society and they all give back. They truly become not only exceptional talent for Israel, but that they become true role models for Israeli society. The other point is really to try and look for gaps um, in society, typically in Israel, in education, in which I feel we might have a greater contribution by being more innovative and impactful. Our family has very close ties to Israel for more than 130 years, and it began with my husband's great-grandfather, the so-called Hanadiv. My father-in-law was highly committed as well and created this joint partnership between our foundation and the State of Israel. It was a way to renew his vows and his engagement to the State of Israel. I'm extremely honored and all the more that my father-in-law in 62 when he wrote the bylaws of the foundation, he specifically had mentioned Technion as one of the leading universities for education. So it's not only vis-a-vis -vis Techion, it's vis-a-vis -vis my family as well. I have the feeling I did the full loop.